Hello again. We are going to be working with fruit. There are so many fruits. All around the world has different types of fruit. We've been talking about mostly tropical areas in our um, assignments. So we're going to look at various types of fruits and their shapes, their textures, their coloration. First of all, if you eat an avocado, does it have the same shape? as a watermelon? Absolutely not. Each of them have their own characteristics. The outside of an avocado has a texture that is more black or green before it gets ripe. Then the center is nice and soft, more yellowy, and then the seed is a big brown seed. Whereas you go to a pineapple, the textures are very, very distinct. It's bumpy, the shapes are squares, versus grapes, which are more round and colorful. So our projects today that we're going to start with, we're going to talk about the various types of fruits, how they taste and their textures is also defined the same way. So a plum is very different than a peach, even though it is geometrically round, but the, how we render them will all be very, very similar. And once you get the understanding of the patterning of how to render very various oval shapes, round shapes, square shapes, and how to let the light hit them and how to shape them, it'll be a, a lot more simpler to you to how to recreate your own. All right, let's start with a blank sheet of paper and we're going to start with general shapes of fruits. For our avocado here, it is more of what type of shapes? You are correct, it's more oval, okay? So let's draw more of an oval shape as if we are creating our avocado, all right? All right, what other shape do you see of an avocado that is cut open? Correct. It is a round ball in the middle. So let's create, just by drawing shapes, we can start identifying what type of object we are drawing. In this case, our fruits. All right. And when we start drawing them, we're going to make them start two-dimensional, which is, looks like it's flat. And then we're going to convert it so it looks more three-dimensional by our shading. So let's come around here sure our avocado shape is a little bit more pronounced and then if we suggest it has a little bit of the bottom of it that we can see we'll be able to sketch in the texture of an avocado all right so that's the shape of an avocado what about our grapes our grapes are all round all right in color it's more um, some red grapes and some purple grapes and we'll be talking about the difference in rendering them in color versus in a regular pencil but let's start with circles and we're going to talk about overlap in order to make this look like it's on top I'm going to only draw part of the circle it looks like there's one behind it and I will only show the exposed circle on top and when I don't show it, it looks like it's behind the other one. All right, so let's continue adding more grapes in here. We're gonna talk about how to render these. So here are our grapes. Nice, brown, juicy grapes. All right, that looks good. And as you can see here, I even threw off some leaves of a grape so we can actually draw the shapes of the stem that they would be connected to. And then it's usually connected to a branch and then a leaf that comes out that connects that wonderful grape. All right, so we're gonna suggest that and the leaves always have a line of symmetry. There's that leaf, all right? Let's put another grape over here that's behind, okay? Another grape that's behind that one. All right, now let's look at our peach. And our peach can be round, and we'll talk about how those look very similar. It usually has a little 
pit in the middle. And I always think of when I think of a peach, it has these kind of defining lines, crevices that we will render to show that it keeps going around, okay? And how it has dips into it, all right? We will also be talking about maybe a watermelon. And we're just going to draw one up here. As we go through each one, we'll have a more defined definition of how to draw each shape. And of course, what type of shapes are these for our seeds? These are more ovally shapes, and we can define these later. Okay? All right, so these are our first set of fruit that we're going to talk about and how to render them. Now, we're going to come back and we'll be working on these shapes and other shapes. We will be talking about our jackfruit and the shapes and how to render it, a star fruit, and this is a papaya. Very a bunch of seeds in there and their colorations and the colorations how different they are but then also how similar they might be. All right, my question to you is, what is your favorite fruit? Where does your fruit come from? What texture does it have? And for our assignment, how would you draw it?